gentlemen and welcome back to another manual graphics tutorial. Today in this tutorial we'll be learning how to install GIMP themes on Mac OS X. And um, so today I've got an, I found a nice theme that was quite popular when I made GIMP tutorials before and it's this um, Draco GIMP um, dark themes. You can download it from GitHub and I'll pro provide a link in the description below. So once you've made your way to this website, you can just go over to download zip and download the zip. Since my internet is terrible, I've already downloaded it before. It's not that big and it shouldn't take that long. But again, my internet is terrible. The next thing we're going to be able to do is we're going to go over to our finder window and we are going to locate it in our... Um, Finder in our downloads, and I found it here. Let me just unzip a new package. And in this package, we have the three, the three preview images, each showing the different um, tones we can get with this theme. It comes with three different ones, all very similar, just some darker than the other. And they're only slightly darker, they're not even that dramatically bigger, darker. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new tab in our finder. We're going to go to go, go to folder, and we're going to this folder here. So I don't know the name of these, but it's shift to the left of the one slash library slash application space support forward slash and we're going to go there we're then going to go scroll down to GIMP we're going to 2.8 scroll down to themes and I've already installed them there but I'll show you we then drag over the three folders and place them in themes and this works for any theme, not just these themes specifically, but this is, is a dark theme for um, the GIMP that I used to use. And I haven't used GIMP in a while because it, it crashes for some reason. I need to have a look into that. So we've got GIMP up here. And we just go over to GIMP Preferences, then over to Themes here. And then you can just click on any one of the themes and it gives GIMP a dark, monotone, modern look. And I'll show you what I mean by um, GIMP crashing. So I want to move the uh, tool options over here, and it doesn't crash. Wow, that's fantastic. Awesome. Well, it did crash before. I'm not lying about that. Anyway, so thank you very much for watching this tutorial, and I hope um, this helped with your uh, your personalization of GIMP. Thank you very much, and I shall catch you in my next tutorial.